Okay, so we're going to look at the Trilogy ventilator uh, with an active circuit and oxygen bleed in. Really, this is for uh, the demonstration purposes of this is to show the actual FiO2 capability while this thing is in use. And like I said, we have an active circuit hooked up to the Trilogy. We have some pretty standard settings assist control, um, tidal volume of 400. And uh, we have our, on the screen, you'll see that the circuit indicator at the top is active. So that being said, it tells us we have an active circuit in place. Uh, with that, goes along with the bacteria filter. The pressure lines are, are hooked up to the back of the machine right here. That's an extra attachment. We will discuss later how to modify that if necessary. As you can see with my O2 analyzer, we're at roughly 21% which is the oxygen content in room air. Right now, I'm going to increase my, or actually just add oxygen period at 16 liters per minute. It is being bled into the back of the machine via the connect. Turn that back around. We've got our oxygen analyzer in line, very close to the patient, uh, right next to the HME. These are approximate values, of course, since we are on a test long at this time. But as you can see, we're leveling out at around 70% FiO2. So we think that's a reasonable level between 65 and 75. We're gonna call it 70 on an average. We picked 16 because we have two eight liter regulators at their full capacity. And this is pretty close to what we would get with an oxygen flow meter in a facility, which typically runs at around 15. Of course, you can flush that to get more oxygen, but we think based on all of the demonstrations and tests that we have run, that this is a reasonable expectation of the FiO2 for the patient. This is a high oxygen demand, mind you. Uh, so we're not at 100%. We don't think that's something that is reasonable to expect. We do, however, think between 65 and 75 is uh, practical and reasonable in this situation.